Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Ornok Kundu. Today I will discuss the topic Li-Fi. I will discuss elaborately and explain what is Li-Fi. So go to the computer screen. Today I will discuss the topic what is Li-Fi, okay? Li-Fi is a wireless communication technology which utilizes light to transmit data and position between devices, right? In technical terms, Li-Fi is a light communication system that is capable of transmitting data at high speeds over the visible light, ultraviolet and infrared spectrums, right? In its present state, only LED lamps can be used for the transmission of data in visible light okay in term of its end use the li-fi technology is similar to wi-fi the key technical difference being that wi-fi uses radio frequency to induce a voltage in an antenna to transmit data whereas li-fi uses the modulation of light intensity to transmit data okay li-fi can theoretically transmit at speed of up to 100 gigabits per second, right? Li-Fi's ability to safely function in areas otherwise susceptible to electromagnetic interference, example, aircraft cabins, hospitals, military, etc. is an advantage. The Li-Fi technology is being developed by several organizations across the globe, okay? Now I talk about history about Li-Fi. Professor Harold Hash coined the term Li-Fi at his 2011 TED Global Talk where he introduced the idea of wireless data from every light, right? He is Professor of Mobile Communications at the University of Edinburgh and the co-founder of Pure Li-Fi company along with Dr. Mustafa Afghani. Okay. According to this TED talk, light fidelity means Li-Fi can be applied in traffic control systems using a car's headlights or in chemical manufacturing plants where radio frequency is too dangerous and could cause antenna sparks. Right. Li-Fi will bring internet access in places that radio frequencies cannot reach okay in september 2013 the pure li-fi company released the world's first commercially available li-fi technology okay the li-fi first marked the introduction of a groundbreaking wireless communication technology and became the world's first li-fi technology available on the market okay Li-Fi is a wireless technology connecting us to the internet which holds the key to solving challenges faced by 5G, right? Li-Fi uses visible light to transmit high-speed data that can reach multiple gigabits, right? Now we talk about how Li-Fi works. Li-Fi is high-speed, bidirectional and fully networked wireless communication of data using light, right? Li-Fi constitute of several light bulbs that form a wireless network, okay? When an electrical current is applied to a LED light bulb, a stream of light means photons is emitted from the bulb, okay? LED bulbs are semiconductor devices, which means that the brightness of the light flowing through them can be changed at extremely high speeds, okay? This means that the signal can be sent by modulating the light at different rates. The signal can then be received by a detector which interprets the changes in light intensity, means the signal as data, okay? Here, the flashes of LED bulbs are denoted with zeros and ones, okay? The intensity modulation cannot be seen by the human eye and thus communication is just as seamless as other radio systems allowing the users to be connected where there is li-fi enabled light right 
Using this technique, data can be transmitted from a LED light bulb and back at high speeds, right? So this is the picture where I just provide how Li-Fi works, right? Now we just talk about the block diagram of Li-Fi system. So this is the block diagram where is the transmitter is there and the receiver is there. Li-Fi system mainly includes two parts, namely the transmitter and receiver. The input signal at the transmitter section can be modulated with a specific time period, then send the data using LED bulbs in zeros and ones form. Okay, here the flashes of LED bulbs are denoted with zeros and ones. At the receiver end, a photodiode is used to receive the LED flashes, strengthens the signal and gives the output. Okay. The block diagram of Li-Fi system just shows below and the transmitter section includes input, timer circuit and LED bulb. So this is the three parts. The input of the transmitter can be any kind of data like text, voice, etc. The timer circuit in this section is used to provide the necessary time intervals among every bit and these are transmitted to the receiver end in the form of LED flashes. Okay. The receiver section includes photodiode as well as amplifier okay so this is the photodiode and the amplifier is there here photodiode receives the led bulb flashes then changes the flashes into electrical signals finally the amplifier receives the signals from the photodiode and amplifiers to provide the output right now you talk about what exactly is li-fi Wi-Fi runs our life. In fact, according to a survey carried out by Direct Line by Opinium Research Online, it is the number one thing that their respondents could not live without. Okay, But no matter where you are in the world, you have probably experienced internet connectivity problems at one point or another. Right? Enter Li-Fi, a type of wireless connection that can be up to 100 times faster than Wi-Fi. Okay, imagine a world where you can connect to high-speed internet by just flicking on your light switch. Li-Fi is a wireless optical networking technology that uses LEDs for data transmission. Okay, in simpler terms, Li-Fi is considered to be as a light-based Wi-Fi which uses light instead of radio waves to transmit information. Okay, Using light to transmit data allows Li-Fi to deliver a couple of advantages such as working in areas susceptible to electromagnetic interference like hospitals and aircraft cabins and working across higher bandwidth while offering higher transmission speeds. Okay. The Li-Fi technology is currently being developed by numerous organizations around the world. Okay. Now we just compare between Li-Fi versus Wi-Fi. So they are provide some features and at first I discuss Li-Fi then I discuss according to Wi-Fi. So for the full name light fidelity in case of Li-Fi but in case of Wi-Fi it is wireless fidelity. If we talk about work of operation in case of Li-Fi transmission of data using light via LED bulbs but in case of Wi-Fi transmission of data using radio waves via Wi-Fi router. If we talk about technology in case of Li-Fi present IRDA means infrared data association complaint devices. In case of Wi-Fi WLAN means wireless local area network 802.A or B or G or N or AC or AD standard complaint devices. Okay next feature practical applications in case of Li-Fi it is used underwater communications security hospital industrial automation airplanes military retail museum train car to car communication GPS augmented reality virtual reality but in case of Wi-Fi the practical applications like security hospital vehicles industrial automation military retail museums trains GPS augmented reality and virtual reality okay if the feature is interference then in case of li-fi no interference issues is there but in case of wi-fi 
interference issues from nearby access points okay next feature transmission security in case of li-fi light cannot go through walls and therefore will provide a more secure data transfer but in case of wi-fi radio frequency can go through walls and therefore need to employ techniques for secure data transfer next feature data transfer speed in case of li-fi can reach transfer speed between 10 to 100 gbps but in case of wi-fi 150 mbps with wlan 11n 1 gps to 2 gps with yging or giga ir okay next feature frequency of operation in case of li-fi 10,000 times frequency spectrum of radio wave but in case of wi-fi 2.4 gigahertz 4.9 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz okay next feature data density in case of li-fi work in high dense environment but in case of wi-fi work in less dense environments next feature distance coverage in case of li-fi near about 10 meters in case of wi-fi can reach near about 32 meters next feature system components in case of li-fi lamp driver led bulbs and photo detector but in case of wi-fi installation of routers okay now we talk about how close are we to using li-fi it is being predicted that li-fi would be released to the general public in early 2022 a grocery store in france is currently using li-fi to track the locations of their customers throughout the store and is then able to offer coupons and incentives right large mobile companies such as apple are also starting to suggest that their future devices will be li-fi capable okay Pure Li-Fi is currently working with partners across many industries including defense, healthcare, lighting, IT infrastructure and device integrators. Okay? The company is also dedicating a lot of resource in the research for product development and commercialization. Okay? Now you talk about cost of Li-Fi. Getting Li-Fi products from different li-fi companies can be very expensive for consumers okay according to pure li-fi they are currently working towards miniaturization of li-fi technology as well as making affordable for consumers in the long run okay ultimately the end goal is to have li-fi in every mobile device this means that the technology will be affordable for integration into handsets tablets and laptops okay ultimately the end consumer will see minimal or no cost associated with li-fi as the goal is to have li-fi embedded in every wireless mobile device okay today companies can speak to pure li-fi about working with us on proof of concept project and other types of installation these installations are priced based on individual requirements so here just provide some product the first product is 2x li-fi stations it is a usb 2.0 dongle that fits into device to send and receive data to and from access point next product is 2x li-fi access points and tx drivers this help connecting to the li-fi enable lights to send and receive data and third one 2x lucy cup to luminaries this is li-fi enables lights to send and receive data okay vlc means visible light communication uses light as medium to deliver high speed communications in a manner similar to wi-fi and complies with the i triple e standard i triple e 802.15.7 okay the IEEE 802.15.7 is a high-speed, bidirectional and fully networked wireless communication technology based standard similar to Wi-Fi IEEE 802.11, right? Now you talk about Li-Fi technology applications. The Li-Fi technology applications over Wi-Fi are promising as well as 
unlimited for the wireless communication which includes like traffic management and road safety medical applications aviation communication underwater elegant lighting interior map reading system for blind people in dangerous environment or in sensitive regions transportations industrial areas education industrial automation vehicles okay now you talk about advantages and disadvantages of li-fi so at first i discuss about the advantages first point speed the speed of the li-fi is very high and we can watch the videos without buffering next point security the light of the li-fi does not run through the partition therefore it is more protected and hacking is not possible third point risk free li-fi utilizes light waves which are harmless and fourth point consistent the data transfer is more protected okay and what are the disadvantages of li-fi apart from several benefits the li-fi technology is facing several problems it requires line of sight as well as the receiver would not be a move in inside okay the main problem is how the receiver will send the data back to the transmitter section okay another disadvantage of this technology is an interference of exterior light sources such as normal bulbs sunlight in the lane of communication will cause intermission in the transmission okay it does not work in the dim areas okay i hope that you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquin thank you and bye bye